I'm Maddie Glab here with junior linebacker Jalen Reeves Maben. Jalen, we're in the linebackers room. What makes this room special to you to do your craft every day? Yeah, well, um, you no, know, it's a linebacker room for position meetings, but um, when we go unit meetings, we have the DBs and the D line also in here. So this is kind of where we all get together, we all see film together, we watch film together, and, and it's kind of just the room that, that bonds us as the Orange Swarm group. Orange Swarm is a big thing for you guys on defense. What does that word mean to you guys? Really, it's just it's who we are. Um, you know, it's the culture we try to live. You know, we want the, people to look out there and see 11 guys swarming to the ball every time. And, uh, you know, that, that's our main focus when we go out there, just be the orange swarm and represent it right. Now, when you're swarming, those, those dreads are moving a little bit. You got some long dreads there. Explain why you decided to start growing those. Well, I, I started growing my hair so I could look taller um, when I was getting recruited. Some people said I was short, and I, I didn't want that to be my, my downfall, so I started growing my hair. And then after a while, my mom got mad at me, so she said it was looking wild, so then she decided to twist it up for me. End of the shotgun. Back to throw. Looks, pressured, sacked back at the 19-yard line. A blitzing Jalen Reese babin gets him. Johnson had no chance. How did you get into football? You've been playing for a while now. How did, how did that start for you? Yeah, well, I come from a long a family of athletes, um, you know, basketball players, baseball players. And, you know, when I was younger, I just always gravitated towards football. And, you know, it's like my family members, my uncles really pushed me to do it. And, um, you know, just, just taught me a lot about the game and helped me grow into the I am today. So your family got you into it, but who do you play this sport for? Well, uh, I mean, a lot of people play for themselves, you know, because they love the game. But for me, I, I just like making people proud. So everyone back home who's counting on me, I just, I just want them to look out there on, on Saturdays and, and see me making them happy and uh, you know, hopefully I can brighten that day with, with my play. A team best 30 tackles for you through two games, which is the second best in the SEC. You know, Coach Jones says a lot of this has been through your maturation process. How have you gotten to where you are right now? Yeah, well, just a lot of hard work and um, persistence. Like going back to my freshman year, uh, I didn't really play much, even on special teams. And, you know, once I got my shot, I knew I had to make the best of the opportunity. I was lucky enough to get put in some good situations and able to make some plays, and I've just kept that mindset throughout the last two or three years. Yeah, you're putting the right step forward. Do you feel like you're just heating up right now? Yeah, a little bit. Um, just through my preparation and um, you know, the coaches have been putting us in great spots to make plays. I've just been lucky enough to make those plays. There's still a lot of games left. Everybody's really excited to see what you can do on the field because it's been, it's been fun to see so far. So thanks for sitting down with us today. Thank you, no problem.